de ver del poeta. ¿A quién no escucha el mar en este viernes? Por la mañana, ¿a quién adentro de algo? Casa, oficina, fábrica o mujer, o calle o mina o seco calaboso. A este yo acudo y sin hablar ni ver. Llego y abro la puerta del encierro. ¿Ok? ¿Do you understand? Of course not. Well, I also don't. So, let me now put it to Muy poco. But I'm sure Anthony here could translate it. But I'll just read the entire poem in English. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Poet's obligation. To whoever is not listening to the sea this Friday morning, to whoever is cooped up in house or office, factory or woman, or street or mine or harsh prison cell, to him I come. And without speaking or looking, I arrive and open the door of his prison, and a vibration starts up, vague and insistent. A great fragment of thunder sets in motion, the rumble of the planet and the foam, the raucous rivers of the ocean flood. The star vibrates swiftly in its corona, and the sea is beating, dying, and continuing. So, drawn on by my destiny, I ceaselessly must listen to and keep the sea's lamenting in my awareness. I must feel the crash of the hard water and gather it up in a perpetual cup, so that wherever those in prison may be, wherever they suffer the autumn's castigation, I may be there with an errant wave, I may move without passing through windows, and hearing me, eyes will glance upward, saying, how can I reach the sea? And I shall broadcast, saying nothing, the starry echoes of the wind, a breaking up of foam and of quicksand, a rustling of salt withdrawing, the great cry of seabirds on the coast. So through me, freedom and the sea, will make their answer to the shattered hearts. Okay, that's it. Thank you.